Hey guys, this is Pablo with D&D Gaming and you guys chose and I'm gonna be reviewing now ION. So just so you guys track in, this is gonna be a whole month review. Today I'm gonna be giving the first impressions and every week I'm gonna see how the game actually stacks up through my gameplay. So the basic stuff about ION for me, you have two races, the Asmodians and the Elias. So most games do follow that premise where you have two races. Some of them will have three, but we'll put one of the races as the neutrals. So, not a bad thing, at least for me. Um, I can get behind that choice. And you have the opposite sides of the balance. Um, for me, I, maybe because I played Rapelzi for a very long time as an Azure, I decided to choose the Asmodians. You know, go a little dark side every now and then, not a bad thing. Um, now, one of the things I really enjoyed was the, the class options. Um, you have six options, at least for the Asmodians. You have Warrior, Scout, Mage, Priest, Technist, and Muse. Now, while I could not actually test all those, I decided to choose the most because I have never played Ion before in my life. That was one of those games that I had meant to do so, but I never did. I decided to go for a warrior, is usually a fairly safe class. The learning curve is usually not that hard, at least if I go to take from other games. So, warrior it was, but I really, really enjoyed the presentation for each class. Um, few games actually do that nowadays, most of them you just click and pick whatever you want, but you, you don't have this cinematic to actually excite you about the class. So that was a big pro for me. Uh, the second thing I loved, character customization. So one problem about a lot of games, everywhere you go, your character looks just like the other dudes. This one is actually amazing. You have a lot of presets, even the presets alone, you have a lot of options. Um, I was able to customize my character, be height, hip size, lip size, eye size, position, all this stuff. And that makes for a player, your character unique. And I thought it was awesome. I decided to kind of like set up my character as Alice from the 1998 or so game. And that was awesome. I, I was very happy with my character. Um, yeah, and it's it's a personal thing. It's something I chose, and I probably will never see someone that just looks just like that. So, awesome. Big props for Dan. I loved it. Now, gaming graphics. That That's a big deal um, for a lot of people. I do like games with really decent graphics. But I'm not going to fully choose gaming graphics over gameplay. Um, the graphics for me, uh, they really stack up. A couple of times I felt got a little choppy and I was actually looking at my frame rate and I had between 60, sometimes 80. I wasn't dropping below 50s um, and somehow every now and then was choppy. Then again, that has to do with server. It depends when they restart the server last time. You see that in a lot of games. So not really a big issue, nothing that uh, affected my gameplay. So I was fine with that. Now, there is one thing about the gameplay. Uh, I will blame that in World of Warcraft because they kind of started going to that direction. And after that, every single other MMO seems to want to, you know, check that mark and it's questing so i do understand a lot of quests in the most i just reached level 9 or 10 you know it's almost like a tutorial um acceptable i get it so i'm not going to get too much into it until i reach a certain level but questing can be tiresome you know most when you're getting multiple quests and you're trying to track all of them I'm more of a person that likes hack slash and just run around killing things. So questing for me ties me a little bit on my gameplay. Not a big deal if that's not something that 
I will have to follow up to whatever max level the game has. But yeah, it can be tiring. Um, there was a little bit of a learning curve of accepting the quest, choosing the quest, tracking the quest. Wasn't that bad, it was something that I figured out pretty quick, but you really have to pay attention on that, you don't auto-accept the quest just by clicking on it, you have to actually go through. Not a big deal again, um, I just really hope it changed because it's completely different than my gameplay, but as I promised you guys, I will be taking a look the whole month on this game. So up to now, gameplay-wise, it was great, uh, just trying to adapt to questing and also the speed uh, of the whole killing thing. Um, have to get used to that. Again, not a big deal. Um, most games have the same style, so we'll see. All right, guys, cinematics. Uh, big deal for me is cinematics. I, I love cinematics in a game, even on an MMO. The problem sometimes it becomes that they just do too much or they don't do it at all. Now, if you don't do cinematics on an MMO, I'm okay with it because it's real time. So while you're stopping to look at cinematics, things are happening around you. So I'm fine if you don't have. I don't feel the game has an abusive amount. Um, I only really had a few and that had to do with reading the books and some of the quests. So, not really bad, and actually it was really awesome cinematics. The only cinematic problems I had, it had to do when the cinematics had to do with the, your character. Um, in some of the parts of the game that it's not a pre-composed cinematics, it kind of felt a little choppy, and that was still having a pretty decent frame rate. So. I don't understand if that was me, I was maybe the server, maybe I was unlucky with something, but I felt that. So, you know, um, still have to see how the game goes more. Um, I'm not, it's not a full review. This is not saying the game is great or the game is horrible. It's pretty much first impressions the day you come into the game, the first time you try this game, that's what you're gonna experience. Again, next videos you're gonna see if things are gonna change or not. All right. One thing I actually appreciated on this game. You can have instance dungeons. So if you decide that you're going to go into a dungeon and fight by yourself, you can do it. Um, you can choose to do it with friends. So you got to add those people and jump in or you jump by yourself. Now, again, I don't know if that's going to keep going like this. Instance dungeons can be great at times or they can be a pain basically because uh, some of the games I played when they don't have instance dungeons you're gonna have a player that he just logs in to kill a boss and grab anything that he will drop and if he's strong enough nobody has a chance to do it the guy pretty much just gonna log in every hour kill the person log off so instance dungeons good thing um, again Gonna have to see how everything gonna continue in the game, but not really bad. So, conclusion as my gameplay, my first day of gameplay. The game looks really good. Um, I do have to adapt to, you know, a different style of gameplay. Not really mine, I don't mind quests, it's just when I feel that my whole progression is based on quests, I may have a problem sometimes. Um, did see a good amount of players in the game. I checked actually the data and it seems that as of now, you have about 300 people in a regular time average and I think it's 700 on peak times. Now I did analyze the numbers and it seems that ION fluctuates a lot through the months. At times it can almost double the amount of people and at times it can Will drop so it's a game that been out since 2012 as a lot of those games people kind of start leaving the game uh, for something else for a new style game new games and the most nowadays that a lot of games who are not MMOs they're actually putting MMO content into their games so people can feel more social 
So yes, uh, there's a big change on MMOs, I mentioned that in the video. But still, the game holds up. Not a small game, it's about 32 gigabytes. So it, it takes a while to install it. But yeah, not a bad game at all, at least for now, at least for day one. And I just want to also let you guys know, update everybody. I've not stopped making uh, videos about Propelzy. What's gonna happen from now on is I'm gonna drop to once a week talking about Propelzy. Mostly, I probably will talk Tuesday or Wednesday after the server reset. So any news about Propelzy, I can pass to you guys. I also am still going to be working in Elseworld and some of the other games I was actually working prior. But the problem is, I mentioned one of my live feeds was the hard drive I actually had most of the footage. It died completely. I'm trying to get it back. If not, I will just have to redo all the videos. So I will be having that now as fast as I can. So I'm just playing catch up a little bit. All right, guys, I didn't forget about communities that have been supporting me on my channel. I would like to tell you guys, I really appreciate what you guys have been doing for me. And yeah, that's about it. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Give me a like, leave a comment. Um, as most people that subscribe to this channel, they know if you have anything to discuss, if you have any questions, I will make sure to answer to all your questions. Guys, thank you very much. I hope you guys have a great Veterans Day. That is my day, by the way. And if you guys watch that video in a different day, you have a great day, no matter what day it is. Guys, thank you very much. Pablo with BND. And I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Thank you.